Matter absorbs or emits light based on its fine electronic structure. That is, you have electrons behaving like waves. They're bounded in the matter. So they have only certain energy levels that can exist and only certain transitions that are allowed to be absorbed or emitted by photons stimulating that matter. Now, let's take this. Let's say a certain piece of matter has this energy level scheme that's shown here and it has an emission spectrum, which of these three emission lines arises from the transition of high energy to low energy, three to one emission in this system? Is that A, B, or C? Think about that for a second and make a selection. Let's look at possible explanations for each answer. A, A is the highest frequency transition, so it also has the highest energy, and 3 to 1 is the largest energy spacing. Or B, B is in the middle, and transition 3 to 1 has an energy level in the middle, so there's a similarity between the energy level spacings and the spectrum itself. Or C, C is the highest wavelength and therefore highest energy transition, and 3 to 1 is the largest energy spacing. Think about those three options and make a selection. We're trying to get from the energy level spacings in some matter to the actual emission spectrum that we'd observe. So, if you look at the possible energy transitions, a transition between level 3 and 2 is possible. That would be the lowest energy of the possible. That's the smallest spacing here. So that's the smallest energy. So on a frequency plot, it would be the lowest frequency or highest wavelength. If you look at the transition from 2 to 1, also possible, that's a bigger energy spacing, higher frequency. The other transition from 3 to 1 is the highest possible for this system. So 3 to 1 would give you a line at A. A here, the highest energy transition is the highest frequency, is the correct answer.